hi everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new in here thank you so much for tuning in and i hope everybody is doing good to my new subscribers thank you so so much for subscribing to my channel and for those who are yet to subscribe i hope you subscribe and join the family okay so in today's video i'll be preparing yam porridge the ingredients i'll be using today in this video is my yam you have to cut your yam in these little cubes i've already washed my yam so this is how you have to cut your yam and next i'll be using one onion which i've already chopped two cubes maggie cubes maybe i'll be needing more i don't know yet but i'll begin with two and scott bonnet pepper and i have here my crayfish you can also use crayfish powder so I have crayfish powder, but I left it with my mom, but I'll go and take it because I need it very much. So in today's video, this is what I'm going to use. So I, I have already soaked my fish in warm water. And because this fish is so hard, so you have to soak it in warm water to become a little bit soft before you can add it into the bowl. So the next ingredient I'll be using is my palm oil. So I always use Zomi which is the best yes and um, of course my salt to taste so that's all I'll be needing in this video so without further ado let's get into the video and uh, first of all I'll be putting my yam on the fire so I'll be putting it on the fire so my yam is already on the fire so I'll be adding in some water so I've already warmed the water the water is warm you need more water in your yam porridge. So now I'll turn on my heat. And I think I'll be needing more water. Like this. So next I'll be adding in my onions. this style is grandmom style you know it is very delicious next my scott bonnet pepper because we don't eat pepper so i'm putting a little bit of pepper after that i'll be adding in my stock cubes so this recipe is very simple you have to add everything in the pan and cook it so it is very very simple recipe It's time for me to add my crayfish. So guys, I'll be adding my salt in later on. After everything is added, you can now cover your food. Let it boil for about 30 minutes for now. So I want the yam to be very soft before I can go ahead and mash it the way I always do it. And one thing about this recipe, you have to add much onions because I'm an onion lover. And when you add much, it gives it its uh, good taste. You can also add garlic and ginger, but I always uh, do it without without it, and it is very very delicious, guys. I'll be checking my food from time to time. So, guys, whilst my porridge, yam porridge, is cooking, without wasting time, I'll go ahead and fry my zomi, which is my palm oil, which I'll be adding in later on in my yam porridge i'll be waiting for my uh, palm oil to be hot before i can add in the onions so we are waiting 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 
now that my oil is palm oil is hot i'll be adding in my onions You don't have to fry the onions too much not burnt not all that brown just like something like golden color you know what I mean as you can see my young porridge is still boiling It doesn't have to fry much so I'm turning off the heat now set it aside so guys I've tasted it and the salt is not enough I only added Maggi cube so now I'm adding my salt to taste because in Maggi cube you already have uh, salt already so you have to be careful adding your salt so now that i've tasted it the salt is not enough adding in my salt so lovely people after 25 to 30 minutes i am checking my porridge so as you guys can see the yam is soft so i think i'm it is ready for me to mash it let me see whether it is soft or not yeah so guys the yam is soft and um so now it's time for me to mash some of the yams and leave some of the yam into the porridge so when you are eating it you have to be able to eat some yam in your porridge i'm using this one because prevention is better than cure i always hurt myself when mashing it so i have to be very very careful So, as you guys can see, this is how it looks after mashing some of your yam. So, it looks very thick. Yes, very, very thick. So, now, I'll be adding my palm oil, which is zomi. I'll be adding it into my porridge, like so. All the good stuff. <laughs> this is my yam porridge. Almost ready because the yam is already soft. And everything is well cooked you can even see the crayfish inside the porridge so it is very very delicious and uh, this is how it looks you can you have to be chewing 
the yams as you guys can see this is how thick it looks don't forget to test it if the salt is okay for you i've already tested it and it is super super like <laughs> so guys this is my yam porridge thank you so so much for watching and i hope you guys will try it out it is very very delicious thank you so much for watching and i will definitely see you in my next one bye